we want to give no praise, no glory to the Most High Yahoo. Now, um, back at it with another video presentation on looks can be deceiving. This time we're going to be dealing with King James, okay? Because you know, we already know that the Israelite camps and also do come out of the one less of my uh, school thought or teaching that King James was a black man, okay? And as you can see on the screen, you got his picture. King James I of England, okay, being depicted as a black man. And at one point, I used to believe that King James was also the black man. And the camps are also saying that he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And he also looks like the former mayor of New York City, David Dinkins. These are all the claims of the camps. King James was a black man. But was he a black man? Because looks can be quite deceiving. Because they already have his DNA. They have his Y DNA haplogroup or Y DNA chromosome. Okay? And we're going to read it right now. And it says you go on surnamedna.com, Y DNA of what? Of the British monarchy. I'm not going to read all. Of the article i'm just gonna read maybe like the first two paragraphs and i'm going to go straight for the jug of the notch i'm going to read over here a review was made of existing genetic genealogy findings that infer characteristics of the y dna of members of the british monarchy now thousands y dna lineages since the year 927 ce were noted as dynastic groups, hypergroup and haplotype characteristics of three of the dynasties represented with two more dynasties noted as testable, but unpublished. Cultural and geographical origins of these dynasties were considered as context for their DNA haplogroups. Specimen candidates for further testing were identified, knowing that some will require ancient DNA recovery and analysis genetics introduction genetics genealogy using y dna focuses on a portion of the y chromosome which passes from what father to son on the rare mutation so your y dna chromosome is passed down from father to son okay so every man that you see walking on the planet has a y dna chromosome that has been passed on from Father do so ever since their lineage has been in existence, which is also another reason as to why the Holy Scriptures, okay, is predicated upon the genealogy or the seed of the Father. While many thinks of the throne of the British monarchy being passed in the same way, that crown has undergone some nonlinear transitions over its long history, counting those transitions which yield adopt heirs to the throne that have been nine different Y DNA dynasties in the last 1,086 years since Einstein became the first king of England in 927 CE. Note that in counting the Y DNA dynasties, we have ignored disputed claimants with the meaningful rules such as Bunny Prince, Charlie, Lady. James Ray Louis uh, the Eighth of France also excluded. There were three potential dynasties which reached the throne, but were not substantiated with an heir. King William the Third of Orange, sixteen fifty to seventeen o two, husband of Queen Mary the Second. King Philip of Spain, husband of Queen Mary the First. King Shepherd of Roy. Applicability. Thanks to affordable commercial data testing, members of the general public can obtain their own wide DNA heritage and compare themselves to published findings. While matches to rural lineages may be uncommon, the prospect of making such fascinating connection can serve as catalyst for individual testing collectively. Such tests add to the breadth and understanding of human Y DNA benefit, benefit scientific community. Okay. A DNA, in addition to commercial DNA tests, the test of ancient DNA testing of human remains is stating 
to make significant contribution to genetic genealogy. While mitochondrial DNA or mDNA results are much more easily obtained, why DNA extraction from ADNA samples haven't performed successfully? Where royal genealogies are concerned, ADNA holds special potential because the location of royal graves are often recorded by history. Further ADNA extraction from royal mausoleums and cathedral tombs may yield more molecular material than it remain from Phil Graves. So now, I'm going to go straight down for the juggling notch, and we're going to see if he has an E mark here, if he has the E1B1A, the Y DNA paternal E1B1A marker, which is that of the Israelites. Can't been saying all throughout the years that King James was a black man and he was an Israelite. So we'll see if he has an E marker. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Bear with me for a minute. <clears throat> All right, so here you go, right there. We got the summary of British wide DNA dynasties. We got the dynasty, the first monarch, the last monarch, the patriarch, the geographic origin, and over here, what it says it says the wide DNA haplogroup. So if you want to check King James, why DNA half of it? What's this? King James the first. And his why DNA half of group R one B L two one, which is a white European half of group. So King James lineage, paternal lineage. Is that of white European? Yeah, he may look like a black man. You can see the ad mixture. Okay, looks like the former mayor of New York City, Debbie Dinkins, but he's a descendant of the European. This is why, like I said, that the camps and as well as other Israelites, they do not want to deal with DNA because DNA totally destroys lives. It destroys the very premise of their own doctrine, in particular the 12th tribe chart. It destroys, totally destroys the whole entire foundation. There's a reason why they don't want to deal with that. As you can see, King James was not a descendant of the Israelite. He has an R1B Y DNA chromosomes. So I'm going to end this video presentation right now. And with that, I'm going to say shalom and I'll see you guys on the next one.